inside the Niger Delta. Welcome back. It's Inside the Niger Delta, the authentic voice of Nigeria's oil-rich region. Reactions have continued to trail the recent judgment of the Supreme Court that sacked Emeka Ihedia of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and installed Senator Hope Uzadima of the All Progressives Congress, APC, as duly elected governor of Imo State. In a unanimous ruling on Tuesday, January 4th, the Apex Court averred that about 230,695 votes were illegally excluded from 388 polling units that were said to be the strongholds of Hope Uzadima. With the court's ruling that the said excluded votes be added, Uzadima, who initially came a distant fort in the 2019 Imo governorship election with 96,458 votes, was declared winner, having secured the majority of lawful votes. The Supreme Court maintained that the lower court erred in their rulings, which dismissed the evidence presented by Uzodima as lacking merit, and directed the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to withdraw the certificate of return earlier issued to Iyedoha for transmission to Uzodima. Following INEC's compliance with the Supreme Court's directives, Uzodima has been sworn in as the duly elected governor of Imo State. Though the Supreme Court's verdict on the Imo governorship election dispute remains final, it has been one judgment, too many reactions. This was how some lawyers reacted to the Apex Court's ruling on the Imo state governorship election dispute. It's important to salute the judiciary on the timeliest uh, adjudication of this matter. We've had in the past where uh, an electoral uh, matter took over three years to determine. Bearing uh, the misgivings that have been, you know, that you know has given rise to outcry, you know, the advice for Imo State people is to take it in good faith. Is to take it in good faith. It's the Supreme Court, so it's the final court. It has decided. So the the state, uh, the, the 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 indigents. The inhabitants should uh, go about their normal businesses. We hope that there will be uh, other cases in future where the Supreme Court can clear some of the grey areas out of our reason in this matter. There are quite some grey areas. Uh, a cursory look at that judgment tells me that um, it is one that the Supreme Court should look at again once more and more time, look at the judgments, particularly with regards to the figures that we gather, uh, uh, the implication of the additional votes, additional votes from um, uh, Uzodima's um, re election results. It tells me that something basically is wrong somewhere. And also, uh, from the point of view of the manner in which those results we are brought in to court. And uh, it's, it's not correct that uh, it's part of the fact that uh, INEC, neither INEC nor any of the parties debugged or controverted it, does not mean that it is all around correct. I think Supreme Court should look at it once again, particularly the source of that, those results sheets. I don't see any court anywhere, no matter the jurisdiction or jurisprudence that cannot reverse itself on very critical areas once the criteria is established and it is always established in every jurisdiction and every jurisprudence that if a court if a, a judgment of a court is obtained by a fraud or it is obtained with a mistaken belief that the party is consented to it or there's total want of jurisdiction by the court or the judgment itself, or the decision of the court, deprives the judgment of the character of a legitimate adjudication. Or that the judgment looked at from its entirety connotes of one that is imbued or replete with fundamental irregularity. Of course, the Supreme Court of Nigeria, like every other court, can set aside its decisions on proper grounds, on an application by an individual who is affected by that judgment. Inside the Niger Delta, 